Hey everyone, this is Alex, USA Days. Uh, let's talk about quality assurance. Is it just me or does it feel like we are having major issue after issue with uh, different companies on a grand scale level? Uh, not so far ago, we had CrowdStrike that costed billions and billions of dollars. Then recently we had a Bank of America outage that were showing balance at zero. Um, not so long ago, last year actually, Sonos firmware update costed company about 25% of overall value of the company. Uh, then there was Microsoft Azure outage related to the CrowdStrike uh, issues with Boeing and uh, so on so on. There's a lot of things that you look around, seems like it's happening on monthly basis or every other month. Some major problem uh, just gets released to the public and the company loses millions of dollars. Um, if you have more examples, uh, please post them in the chat, post them in the comments. Uh, I would be happy to read and research and dive deeper in other issues that you faced or you know about. I think one of the main reasons, or there are actually a couple of reasons here, but one of the main reasons why this is happening is that Agile model shifted from let's deliver a quality code that works and uh, work with the customer be flexible about delivering uh, quality code and in increments. Uh, it it is now let's deliver as much feature as possible in a set time frame, which is interesting concept. Um, my question is why? Why do you need that? It doesn't make any sense from quality perspective. So if you have a working product that makes you revenue. And then you push something sketchy just because, you know, there was a date and that date somehow is not shifting. You can't move it for a week or months or a year. If you have already working product and it is profitable, it is better to say, hey, we need more time for testing and uh, updating and patching things. So let's move release and let's release in a month, in a two months, in three months if needed but you will still have a robust working product with set of features that you have right now, then uh, rather having release that will break your product completely and then cost you millions of dollars. I understand the business model is uh, trying to push as fast as possible because if you if you're on a schedule and you fit within the time frame and you have a nice shiny release, then you can get a good report about it and get bonuses. And, you know, if there are no issues, then you get a raise and company gets more money streamed and so on. But the problem was that mentality, if you don't, like if you sacrifice quality and you just push things out because you have a date uh, that things have to go out, uh, otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen. You're not going to get a bonus or something. So if you sacrifice quality and you release bad code, it might cost you a company. It might cost you a job. It might cost you millions of dollars. So everyone is suffering. Uh, business is suffering because it is losing customers and it's losing money. Uh, but customers are also suffering because they are users just like me and you. If I release a bad product uh, as a business, I might also be a user of that product. Right? I can break my own computers. I can uh, crash my own systems. I can be you know, a user of a faulty device that we produce or someone that I know. So it's just bad situation on both, both sides. And then the company you know, loses millions of dollars and they can come up with statements. Oh, we did analysis and we need to add more robust quality assurance. We need to have a better procedures in place. Well, yes, but I guess business only learns the hard way, right? It's financial and sensitive. We're going to cut corners as long as we can to uh, get some profits. And then we're going to get burned really, really hard because we had all that technical debt and all the issues that we ignored and uh, shoveled under the carpet just to have a release on a set day to show it on time. And what happens as a result of that? Well, at some point, it it just it just breaks, uh, and sometimes it breaks so hard that business is just not able to recover. So I think this is something you always want to keep in mind. I know we all like agile. Agile is flexible. Uh, agile delivery is fast. We deliver those increments. But you just have to have a proper processes in place, and I think it should be a universal rule uh, 
if there are questions about quality of the product and the product might be breaking, don't just push it out. It's okay to postpone a release for a month. It really is. Let's let's test for half a month and fix things for half a month. Uh, and maybe, you know, we'll send a notice to customers that, you know, the release is going to be postponed. We might lose some customers for that, but still it's going to be a quality product on the market that is working and profitable. Then release something terrible and lose half of our customers because it just doesn't work for them anymore. It just crashes, freezes, whatever happens, right? We should normalize uh, unless it is somehow contractually bounded or really, you know, there's some some kind of life or death situation here that it needs to be on that date. I think we should normalize. It should be okay in Agile to postpone release dates and move them a couple weeks, uh, two, three weeks. I think we, we, we should really start thinking about incorporating a strengthening sprints before the release that will run for some time um, to make sure that code is robust. So technically, let's have a code freeze, right? Let's give a couple of weeks of testing and make sure everything is working fine. And if we find issues, uh, we're going to fix them and we're going to retest again. That might take a couple more sprints. But in the end, if we're doing a proper release, we're releasing a quality product instead of just trying to adjust to the dates and push whatever out because there's a date on the calendar and we said we're going to deliver at that date. I think it's a better practice. And we're seeing it all over the place. Um, companies are trying to cut costs they hear that talk from business that you know we don't really need that much qa qa is not that important we can automate most of stuff or we can put ai in place of quality assurance or even developers can test their own code so they they keep having that talk essentially uh they're removing the the gatekeeper of quality uh people that saying you know we're okaying this, we're check marking this to be fine for a release. They try to remove it through the business uh, processes to make it acceptable to just kind of push through that or completely get those jobs out of the office, right? No, no quality assurance, no issues, no bugs. We just release in production, right? But as a result of this mentality, we start having terrible terrible breakages that affect companies in ways that you know it's hard to imagine millions and billions of dollars it's just impossible some some places are not going to recover from that so i would i would gi give it a really hard thing to the, all the agile people out there all the business people out there i know you have that shiny grail that says ai i know you have the shift left or whatever the new trend that tells you you know you don't really need to test for two weeks you don't really need to you know verify then fix and then verify again you can just push and see like maybe we're going to roll back or we're going to do something we're going to be really fast about it well think about this if you're flying on a plane right uh would you fly on a plane that was you know, tested only by developers that had no proper regulations in plain uh, in place. That there was the processes of for for normal testing of a plane uh, were omitted, or they were done on a fly, or postponed trim when something accident happens when the plane crashes. I mean, that wouldn't be normal, right? So if your software is involved uh, with money, with bus uh, businesses. Uh, you know, that deal with money, if your software is involved with health, with law, with regulation, with education. So things that are important was like food delivery, the security, um, power. So anything to do with people, livelihoods, I would really reconsider agile uh, as a process. And, you know, you can develop an agile 100%. But when it comes down to releasing software, I would not stop testing for the sake of the date just because we need to release and, and make the date happen. The numbers that you take out of thin air and just put them and tell them it's going to be ready by this date, they're, they're not magical. 
it doesn't mean it's going to happen. You know, issues are being found. They need to be fixed and it takes time. We should be reasonable about it. And if something is bad, it is okay to say, you know, we will release in a month or two. Instead, business is over relying on AI and a lot of recent researches uh, on AI are showing that if, if developers use AI a lot, um, code becomes hard to manage and maintain. It introduces more security um, issues. Even though if your speed goes up, like you start developing 50% faster, but overall maintainability and security of the code goes down because a lot of it is just copy pasting, which is not great. And then especially over relying on AI to test things, like we're just gonna put AI and it's gonna test. Well, what if the AI is bad, right? Who is testing the tester? Like if I'm a human being and I am testing, I am accountable for that test. If AI is just having a bug and it tests and it doesn't find issues because AI itself is faulty, who is accountable? All right, so that being said, nothing against agile, nothing against shifting left, but we should really reconsider the business mentality of just push something at a certain date, no matter what, to make that bonus or whatever it is. And we should really start thinking quality first. Okay. All right, this was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.